but then since you want her to want to have that thing, you, you totally do it again. Is that how it works? Am I, am I doing it right? R.I.P. Dave. Mmm, Dave, Dave, Dave. But, you know, Dave, at least for now, we're glad you're alive. Uh, please report back somewhere one of these days if you do disappear off like that again. Otherwise, you're going to start a Dave counter again. The Dave counter of, is Dave alive today? We never know. It's actually, you know, it's always on the top of our minds. It's Dave alive today. But glad, glad, glad to find out that you are. Even though you might not be by tonight. But, you know, um, YOLO? Is that the word you're saying? Well, Dave. God damn. Dave is truly the man's man. Do anything for sex. Funny thing is, none of these look like Kappas after a while, but you just have to imagine the Kappa. You just have to imagine that they're Kappas. You have to run to California to get away? That is scary. Yo, Dave. Don't take it. Ah, maybe you can, like, lure her to California and drop her off in, like, Santa Monica or something. There will be people who um, can take care of her. Hello! Hello, Purpley Tiger. Hello. I don't know what you were watching the last time that I was drawing this, but I'm still, uh, yesterday I was doing Shrek and today I'm back at Kappa. I have to finish this by today because I might not have time tomorrow. So, uh, we, bear with me, bear with me. Dude, did your one, is that like your one side chick that like ruled them all? Like she had all their numbers and then after she found out, she's just going around telling everyone. You have a bad system, Dave. Like. Sure, you have a way with girls, but it seems like you have a bad system of keeping track of this shit. Hmm? Can't deny that. Hmm? Right? Uh. Yeah, Dave, you, got, you need a better system. If you're gonna do this, which I'm not condone, I'm not saying, I'm not condoning or condemning, you probably need a better system so this doesn't happen. You don't want to be reactive, you want to be proactive. You should always think of worst case scenarios. Well, my, my thing stands. Two hour pickle? No, I saw your uh, donkey and I. Fuck, what's that thing? I saw one of the monsters you made. Um, I forgot which one it was. Uh, I liked it though. Um, two hour pickle. No, yeah, your kawaii pickle. Oh, you had a kawaii pickle. I remember that now. Is it your kawaii pickle? Josh, your kawaii pickle. Cool, Dave. Cali is a nice place. It's really hot right now, though. I don't know what the weather is like in West Virginia, but it kind of just rained recently. So um, we are uh, kind of like in this weird, humid, nasty weather. So if you're hoping for sunny California, 
you will be sorely disappointed. The Sober by Tool music video, the little guy. Um, that's a music video, which I'd have to watch. Can you find a screenshot? And I will look at him and I will tell you if I might do it. I might do it anyways, but you know. Show me. Um, I forgot what California's gun laws are, but you probably need a license here to carry firearms. Uh, yeah, my friend's really into, one of my friends is really into guns. So yeah, you need, you need a, you need a license for that. Uh, it's different from the concealed carry license though. Uh, you should probably check that out. Um, because California is a little bit more stringent on the gun law. Uh, we recently just, no, like a couple of years ago, I think, um, they made, ref they even made like Big Five recall all their guns. Like, I think the, sh the LAPD bought all the guns around our county and then forbade, forbade them from selling anymore. So yeah, it's like, um, it's like a thing. Uh, so in terms of bringing your shotgun, if you want to like have a little funner trip, you might, might want to leave it at home unless you want to like do some research. Uh, but that's, that's just my suggestion. You know, you don't have to listen to me. But yeah. I'm just saying you might you might bump into some trouble if you don't uh, check that out enough because uh, they're pretty anal about that. Lots of crying here. Well, not really lots of crying. It's more of a... Uh, you know. Well, it depends where you're visiting anyways. Where do you need your gun? If you're visiting Santa Monica and the beach, you probably don't need your gun. If you're visiting like Compton, you still don't really need a gun unless you're going out of your way to look for trouble. Like really, unless you're like gonna be smoking weed out on a street corner in like the hood, uh, you probably don't need a gun. Ooh, that thing. Yeah, I can draw that in like draw that in my sleep. I draw shit like that all the time. Speaking of which, oh yeah, Purpley Tiger. Oh wait. Uh, if you follow my WordPress, my blog, uh, and maybe today, I think I told Josh that I would post um, some of my angsty high school shit, and there's a bunch of shit that looks like that. Maybe that would satisfy you. Dude, if the girls are that crazy, you know what I'm gonna bet the story's gonna be? See, I don't even know if it's real, but I'm gonna trust you on that. Oh, yeah, hi, Monkey. Hey, Monkey, sorry I missed your stream today. I I had to make an errand, so I couldn't stick, I couldn't, couldn't tune in. Yeah. My favorite theme, actually, in terms of uh, stuff I draw is, um, Contrast. I like putting really cute things next to really uh, scary things. I think that's like kind of what, like, do you guys know Jonan Vasquez? Uh, he did Invader Zim and stuff. I really like his work, actually. All right, I'll try to I'll tune in. I'll try to tune in on Friday. Um, yeah, I love Jonan Vasquez. I don't know if you guys know Jonan Vasquez. He did Invader Zim. Uh, that's his Cartoon Network show, but he also did a bunch of um, like. His, his stuff is a little bit more twisted. Yes! Johnny the Home, Subtle Maniac is fantastic. I love it so much. It's, it's kind of one of those things, though, that, like, I can only talk about if I knew you happened to read it. You don't really want to, like, share Johnny the Home, Subtle Maniac with, like, just your friends, like, normal, because they're going to be like, are you fucking crazy? Dude, just talk to your girlfriend. You're going to have to talk with her eventually, dude. By the way, Monkey, that's Dave. We thought Dave was dead. But turns out he's alive. Like, I, we genuinely thought he was dead. Because the last thing we heard from him was, um... Uh, my, my second girl, uh, found me. And I am hiding in my neighbor's house with a gun. I think, I think Dave is like, aren't you like older than me, Dave? Like by one year? I think Dave's 25. No, never mind. He's young. You're youngin'. 
I'm, I'm the old man here. Oh, this, did the stream freeze? Um, uh, is it okay now? Oh, right. I think Josh is older than me. I think I'm the middle child. I'm the middle child. I'm the young, I'm the young. Oh yeah, you're the youngin. How old are you, Purpley Tiger? I assume you're really young, because you said you had to ask your parents so that you can get Twitter. So, I'm assuming... Dude, what, is your girlfriend coming? This is, dude... Surely you expected this scenario at some point when you did your shit, right? Like, come on. Come on, Dave. You had to know this might have happened. You had to know. Did you just not think it was going to come so soon? Hmm? Ooh, you're my youngest viewer yet. Um, I apologize if I'm crude. Um, yeah. Can't shit fuck. Cut, cut this fuck. Anyways, hmm. Did you know that I also teach children? Sometimes? Usually on Mondays and Wednesdays. Uh, do I teach 13 year olds though? Uh, 13. What grade is that? 13 is... Oh, you're like... Are you like 8th grade? Oh, yeah, I taught an 8th grade kid before. Um, I don't like teaching 8th graders. I'm sorry. You guys, um, no, I'm not, no offense to you personally, because I don't know you. Uh, but uh, the one 8th grader that I taught a while ago is literally the living embodiment of Gollum. Like, it's literally Gollum. I never had to describe Gollum, use Gollum to describe a human being before. But he's straight up Gollum. Like, I think that kid has, like, some sort of, like, learning disability or something. Um, or, I don't know. I think, well, you know what he has? I'm pretty sure he has, um, like, a mild form of autism. Like, he's high functioning, but, like, he'd always, like, stare at you blankly when you talk to him. And then, like, giggle to himself randomly. Um, mm. I think one of the teachers there we had uh, that taught him English, I think. Her name was uh, Betty Wang. And just because her name rhymed with Bang, he sat by himself doing his homework going like, <laughs> Betty Bang, <laughs> like that. Did that for like an hour. And I was like staring from like across the room doing like, the fuck is this kid doing? Ugh. And I tell him, you know, I tell him, he's like, dude, you're fucking weird, stop. And you know, he kind of knows. Yeah, the kid's weird, dude. So maybe not all the like that. Maybe I'm stereotyping. But that particular fucking kid didn't make me want to teach 8th graders that much more. It's like, ah, oh, shit. What the fuck is this thing? And, I, and, the, and since no other, tutor, uh, no other tutors at the place. Uh, Alright, Dave. Just don't die. That's all that matters. Dave, just don't die. Can you promise? Just promise me you'll never die. Dave, Dave, say it. I need you to say it. Say, I will never die. Say it. I need, I need you to say it, dude. Come on. Well, I'm glad. Because that's, uh... You know what? Maybe it's not I don't like 8th graders. I don't like sociopaths. That kid's fucked up. One time he asked me to borrow a pen, and I gave him a pen, and he just threw it into the crevasse. And I was like, the fuck was that? I gave him, hey, you asked me, oh, you piece of shit. And then, you know. Turns out I don't like kids as much as I think I do. Even though I teach kids. Sometimes. But yeah. It's gonna be awful sometimes. Ugh. But uh, let's see. What else about that kid? What's? Oh, okay. I'll tell you a funny story about that kid. Uh, one time he came in, and he just uh, was wearing sandals. And then I had like two hours with him, and uh, for some fucking reason, uh, and for some fucking reason. Uh, he had, he wasn't wearing socks, so he just started scratching his feet the entire time. It was really gross, and he, like, scratched his feet and, like, smelled it, and I was just like, dude, uh, is this, like, eighth graders? What the fuck's wrong with you? And then, you know, at some point, I just needed a break from him, so I was like, you sit here, don't, don't bug anyone, and then I left. Then I came back, and then two girls were also in the room later, and, um, they had fries on them, and this kid always begs for food. 
And then I watch like, uh, have you ever watched like a disaster happen? Like maybe like a car accident happening where you